Hello, this is Matt from Mad Boosting. I'm going to introduce you to my other car. Another one of my cars that I collect and enjoy and drive. This is one of my favorites. Definitely one of my favorites. I've put a lot of work and time and effort into this car. It's a 1987 Buick Regal Turbo T Limited. Buick only made around 1,100 of these cars. So it's really rare. Really rare. Even has T-tops, so that makes it even more rare. Very rare, but yet... I did a resto mod on it because I like a Buick that's done my way. Basically, as fast as I can afford to do it, time and money wise. You look inside there in the grill, there's a custom front mount intercooler with three inch tubing from the big huge T76 turbocharger. It's a T4 series turbo. External wastegate dumped straight to the underhood and it's aimed towards the downpipe, which is like a four and a half inch downpipe. The engine is a custom Buick 4.5 liter stroker engine. It started out as a Buick 4.1 liter engine and it got bored to four inches of bore and 3.625 inches of stroke. It's a stroker crank. Full billet, full counterweight, H-beam correct, H-beam connecting rods, and diamond forged pistons. Also has a boost referenced fuel pressure regulator with a gauge right next door. I totally ported the intake manifold. Aftermarket 72 millimeter throttle body. A nice large air filter, a MAF translator so I could run a nice LSLT style mass airflow sensor from GM. Take a little walk around this car. I've got Craig R wheels with nice 235 in the front and 255 tires in the rear. There's the back. Regal right there. Turbo T Limited. Look inside the car. Inside I've got some pillar mounted gauges. Got the air fuel ratio. Got fuel pressure. Boost pressure. Scan master. Nice little variable boost controller down there. Digital instruments. Nice leather seats. I got pillars on the other side. One's oil pressure and one's exhaust temp so I can monitor what's going on in my engine compartment. And it's got back seat. Nice big back seat for Anyone that desires to hold on for their dear life while they're going on a ride with me. All right. There's the old Buick. 87 Buick Regal Turbo T Limited. Very rare. Another thing I did is I did a custom conversion because the original Special Power Master Brute Brake Booster the original one was electronic, and it failed on me in the middle of a drive. And I went from having brakes to like no brakes. So I did a conversion. Now I have a vacuum brake booster and a regular brake master cylinder from a non-turbo 87 Buick Regal. And I also use the pedal from a non-turbo Buick Regal, the brake pedal itself, because it has a longer throw. So that's another thing I customized on this that is different than practically every other Buick Regal. The Turbo Buick Regals 
all of them usually have that brake power master. And mine also did from the factory too until I did that change. And I ran my vacuum right here to a one-way valve. See the one-way valve? Then it goes right to the vacuum source. And there you have it. Introduction. 1987 Buick Regal Turbo T Limited. One of my favorite cars. Really enjoy this car. And thank you for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe to these videos. And remember, mad boosting. Take care now.